I have to address the big news of the week. Stuttering John finally successfully got a copyright violation against me on YouTube. We had a video removed, and I got my first copyright violation. If you get three, you lose your channel. So I take this type of thing kind of serious. You had a, you you had a, he got you for a copyright for what? He did. I'm going to get into it right after this. So this is him on the Thursday episode. At the very end of the episode. He's addressing that he was able to get a video of ours taken down. Or you be can become a YouTube member. Speaking of YouTube, I do want to give a shout out to YouTube. <laughs> to YouTube. Because <laughs> some loser decided to post my beer on the balcony. All right. So the way he just said that, it's as if I took his show and posted it on my YouTube channel. I would never do that. People would unsubscribe immediately. His show yeah. is unwatchable. I take clips of his show, and we make fun of him. It's very different. Honestly, Carl, I can't believe he got you for one. Because I know. It's so it doesn't make fair. any sense. It's remarkable. But well, he I put in a counter notification. So he has 10 days to file. I mean, how's it not fair use? Right. right. I mean, it's, it's insane. So I, so I put in a counter notification and you have to put in your rationale. I'm like, this is so obviously fair use. I don't even know how to tell, explain this to you. So he has 10 days to file a federal lawsuit against me or else it gets reinstated and I get my violation taken off of YouTube. Yeah, I was going to say, because like I get uh, just the stream on my streams and stuff. I'm constantly getting uh, copyright claims and I, I dispute them and I, just, yeah. I don't know if they go away. Except for I, I did a I showed on a private stream Worski getting knocked out mm -hmm. and they just blocked that video they didn't even do a copyright claim they just straight up was like blocked it and even though i was like obviously just commenting on it they still just that was like an instant block i never received that before yeah interesting i've had Dazen. that i've been demonetized on videos if i use a clip from yeah, another tv show about. or something yeah that right. i don't care about whatever but but it's like the actual like repercussions real repercussions but, so danny so it's because you've been through this experience the way that it works on youtube so i had to go through copyright school and copyright <laughs> school on youtube you ever do this before danny no no because uh, on uh, minor claims they're not strikes okay. yeah so this is this was actually a real strike so i had to go to copyright school i watched a four minute video made for children about how the copyright law works. Then I answer four questions. And then it's like, congratulations, you've passed copyright school. <laughs> Yay. But the way that this works, though, when you put in your counter notification and you say, I don't believe this is a copyright infringement, they really try to scare the shit out of you. They're like, by the way, if you go through with this and it it's determined that this was a copyright violation, then we're going to take your firstborn son, your third cousin, we're going to torture you. <laughs> We're going to rape your girlfriend. I'm like, YouTube, this is, seems extreme, but... But your yeah. producer's safe, right? <laughs> <laughs> your producer's what fine. do they actually right, say cool. they're going to do if you're wrong? If it, you lose it, it, they, they threaten it's like you... like a second strike or something? They, no, they threaten you with serious legal ramifications. What? Yeah. Do you yeah. see the... I don't know if you follow, because I only saw about this yesterday, but that, you know, I hypocrite, that guy? Yes, I do, yeah. On Twitter or whatever, he posted a tweet on one of his videos about the, you know, that Celsius crypto thing. No. And it was run. So there was this crypto thing called Celsius. It was like a whatever, huge crypto thing. And then their head of risk management was this girl. She was running like f responsible for $300 million. And she had like two years previous, she was 23, two years previous, been in like some porn video. And he like posted something about it. And then she sued him. And he's like now like in court over this shit. Over what, what is she suing him for, though? Go look at, go pull up iHypocrite's Twitter because he has a um, a GoFundMe going right now to for fifty grand because she's suing him to manage her reputation or something. Well, it's crazy. Like I guess, I, and he's in Canada. He's not even in America. But I don't understand though. If she was in porn and he points that out, he didn't put her in porn. Uh, exactly. <laughs> and, and, and then the whole thing is that Celsius thing went under because it was like a Ponzi scheme. Cause, sure. Because all these people were like, yeah, why is this chick who was like in porn two years ago responsible for $300 million right now, two years later? Right. And then, and then the porn thing kept coming up. And then now she's like suing everybody. But like they were right because this thing just like went belly up and everybody right. lost all their money. Huh. It's, it is yeah. weird. I will say that <laughs> the people are. I put up on Twitter that I put in the counter notification, and I do get 
very nice fans of Who Are These Podcasts responding like, you got to take this stuff seriously because you never know. Like, you get these judges who don't understand the internet or how anything works and anything can happen. So yeah, of course, you know, it's, I mean, I'm having fun with it, but if, if John gets any headway with this at all, there's just no justice in the universe. I know, it'd just be insane. Insane. And profit from it on YouTube. And I had it removed and I will continue to have it removed. And tomorrow I have a conference call with me, my lawyer, and Patreon and Patreon support legal to complain about a show that is really, really promoting hate. <laughs> and it should not be allowed to go on. And Patreon should not be profiting from this, nor should this loser. So uh, I look forward to the conversation that I'll be having tomorrow to see what will be done and tell them what needs to be done. I'm calling that the Patreon call is fake because there's no way Patreon would waste their time with a guy who says, hey, this show, who are these podcasts, has someone in their Discord server writing the N-word. Patreon would be like, okay. Yeah. yeah it's uh, what does that have to do with anything? I mean, if Discord, yeah, Discord could shut it down if I guess Discord, but I mean, that's every Discord pretty much. Yeah, right. It's every forum on the internet. Also, what about the fact that we're now watching this video? What do you mean, as far as like copyright goes? This, so, yeah, as far as he's, he's <laughs> yeah. saying he's copyright claim, and we're watching the video about the copyright claim, full Inception style, and you're like, well, Are you trying to get me this? in trouble right now, Danny? I'm not trying to get you in trouble, <laughs> but I'm saying, like, it's ludicrous. So, wait, he's gonna, so it's just going to never end? He's just going to, like, just claim this? Like, That's what he's saying. Yes, he's going to get every single thing shut down. What John is doing, he's being such a fucking Karen, it's, it's incredible. The two entities that he's going after are two where I make most of my income from, Patreon and YouTube. So he wants to get those two things shut down to ruin my life. And he, what John doesn't realize is that he's becoming the people that the Howard Stern show hated. He is now yeah. that guy. Not only that, but I hate this. It's that I have an end that I want to get to, and I'll just retcon everything else just so I can get to that end. When he said this show promotes hate, no, John, they fuck with you. Okay? Right. That's it's a, what this it's a comedy show. Yeah, it's a comedy show that goofs on you right. and you're really fun to make fun of. Yes. It's promoting hate, Maya. God, Dude, you know what? Every time you play this guy, I get mad. Yeah. John is as dumb as he is ugly. He really does not understand how any of this works. He thinks he's going to bring a lawsuit because we're making fun of him. It's Say great. what you will, man. Every video he gets taken down, he gets a free t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> the dark brand of t-shirt. Well, how, how, I mean, think of how he's fallen. I mean... He's going out. He's trying to shut you down. Yes. We're making fun of you, somebody. And this is the balls on the guy from the Howard Stern show of yeah. all places yeah. to try and come after somebody for making fun of someone. You would think he would know better, wouldn't you? But he's pretty you fucking stupid. He's a pretty you know, dumb guy. Think back to his time on Howard, though. He never was good at taking no. a beat. No, he, he always got really defensive. Like there's yep. that clip of Howard talking about him taking some, like taking Yankees tickets from somebody. And John just refuses to understand that he did that off Howard's back. And like, he's not taking it well at all. This guy for 30, 40 years now has not taken criticism. Well, it's funny too. Cause I go back and watch some of those old clips. People send them to me all the time. And I used to think I was a stuttering John fan. And now I go back and watch it. I'm like, Oh no, he's always been this way. He was never right. funny. You were just, Howard was just really good at elevating people like him. Yeah. yeah, very true. So I put out a tweet, and I tweeted a screen capture of my counter notification, and I wrote, I wish we could just roast each other. That's all I ever wanted. Get your brother's suit, because I guess we're going to court. Get your brother's suit. <laughs> yeah, because John had to borrow his brother's suit when he went to D.C. <laughs> the only suit he uh, won. So... <laughs> <laughs> John Melendez responds to me. Now, of course, I can't see this, but fortunately, Muttering Jay took a screen grab of it and put it out so that I could see it. John wrote, um, dummy, I own three Armani suits. YouTube is not a court. It's not fair use when it's behind my paywall. I would sue you, but you aren't rich. It would cost too much for little upside. If roasting was all you ever wanted, you should have just asked me to be a guest instead of hating. Now, a lot of things are wrong with this. Yeah. First off, to comment about the suit thing makes you look pretty bad. You know, just, just yeah. take that one. Take that one to the chin and move on. <laughs> you should see my shoe collection. Okay, I, I, I get it, John. I got three of them. Yeah. <laughs> Very successful. 
<laughs> yeah, like get your brother's suit is one of those insults that you only lose if you respond to it. Yeah, That's exactly, right. exactly. And it's not fair use once behind my paywall. Yes, it is, John. I don't know who told you that. Yeah. We oh. can use clips from your show that are even behind a paywall. I can use clips from Star Wars and put them in a video. Ooh. I should, actually. Yeah. That'd be fun. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that right here. It's a little short for a stormtrooper. <laughs> a, little, a little work for myself <laughs> yeah. in the future. <laughs> Shit. Super How's important. it behind? What paywall? You, you're subscribed to his Patreon? Uh, yeah, so he has a Patreon uh, and he has a uh, subscription on YouTube, paid oh, okay. subscription, gotcha. and he puts on these beer on the balconies on Saturdays that are just mm. for those people. And I, I have, uh, he's, he's obviously blocked me, but I have friends who pay for that. He too. can block you from supporting him? Yes. Oh. I blocked him from supporting me because he got on my Patreon and started flagging Patreon and DMCA <laughs> striking it. So I'm like, all right, we'll get this guy out of here. And it's yeah, yeah, yeah. causing a, a ruckus. God. God damn. <laughs> this Can isn't his first time doing a copyright strike against me. This is like the 17th time, and this one worked. Uh, and yeah, actually, I, the I, Patreon one worked too, and then I, had, I got to put him back up, but... I feel like this is disciplining seven-year-olds. Like, you just have to go to John and go, you go that way. You go that <laughs> yeah, way. Yeah, right. <laughs> Break it up. He started it. That's the other thing, too, about this tweet. He goes, well, if this is just a roast, why wouldn't you invite me on? When we first did John's show, it was, what, 2017, 2018? Do you think John would have come on Who Are These Podcasts and done a roast-style show with us? No way. But, like, these fucking losers from Rochester, I don't have anything to do with these assholes. So it's disingenuous. Plus, as somebody pointed out, why would you get the guy who wrote the movie One Too Many to be on a comedy show? <laughs> We're trying to make jokes here, John. You don't belong. We can't have that here. I've been listening to Shuli's uh, Uncle Rico episodes, and they were breaking down. And I wish we did this too. Uh, Vinny and I did this. When John was on Anthony's show with Artie Lang, and he just got demolished by them to the point where yeah. he left midway through the show. He's like, oh, fuck you guys. I'm, I'm just leaving then. Yeah, because he doesn't know yeah. how to riff and roast and roll with things. He's the worst yeah. at it. Every time Artie would be like, "Ah, John, your comedy's not funny." John would go, yeah. "Oh, you tried to kill yourself with heroin." Yep, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your dad's a quadriplegic. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Fuck <Pock> face. <laughs> yeah, Fuck face. Uh, it's so insane. And then he says he's not going to sue me now. So. I don't know. I could be wrong about this. Danny, you might know about so this. So nothing's coming down the pike after I all? know. I thought it was all coming down the pike. I guess it's not. Right. I keep looking down the pike. There's nothing. <laughs> the whole reason I've been watching this angle is for my big WrestleMania payoff. This is the only <laughs> yeah. Right? This is like he picked up Andre and just fell down. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. So apparently now he's saying he's not going to sue me. And correct me if I'm wrong. But when you send out copyright strikes with no intent of following up on your copyright, that's harassment. I don't know. Maybe. I, I have no idea how that stuff works. I'm new to this whole YouTube game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, it seems like, you, I, I guess, or is it just the intent to just have it removed? Just punitive? like, Or does he want something from it, like money? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I don't know. He I don't just know. wants it taken no down. Yeah. No, yeah. you're, you're yeah. probably right. But the problem with that, though, is that if he do, if I say, well, no, it's fair use, and then he doesn't follow up with a lawsuit, I just put it right back up again. So we're wasting yeah. everyone's time. Actually, what you're doing is you're putting it under a microscope. Yeah. And we've talked about this. The Streisand effect should really be called the Melendez effect. Yes. We need <laughs> to change that. It's this is the Melendez effect. He can't stop himself from drawing attention to everyone who hates him all the time. Carl, Danny's new to YouTube, and I'm new to YouTube. I have to say on behalf of uh, he and I, thank you very much for going through all this so we know how it works. Yes. A monkey at minefield. I like yeah. that. I'm sure there you was guys one will. set of footprints because you were carrying us on your back. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, right now, Lilith is watching this and writing this down. <laughs> Copyright strike, huh? DMCA? Oh, okay, very good. That, that, that's everybody's been saying, dude. They're going to fucking copyright you and you're not going to be able to do the show or whatever. And I'm like, I don't think they can. Yeah. Well, they so might be enjoying video, it. It's audio. Well, they might. Well, I don't, that doesn't matter, but they might be no. enjoying it, though, Danny. Yeah. They might be because you're promoting them. Yeah. Of course. I'm promoting no, John. You, Half his fucking listeners are fans of who are these podcasts so i've only i've only had one time where a guy i don't even know how we got mixed up with the guy but he's a wrestling guy named kenny bolin okay. and we made fun of his show he copyright struck us and youtube not only see now if john ever made i don't know if he's ever made false copyright strikes against you but youtube will write to you yep it's great they like rat him out i got that They'll one write. yes so that was yeah, months ago i got one that said by the way john melendez tried to put in a copyright strike against you but we know that this is fair use so i was like okay great thank you and then you know? they show you what he wrote to them right yep. 
I, I got to see the whole the letter. Part. Yeah. Oh my God. Ooh, that's juicy. So I don't know who was working at YouTube. This I don't know which intern got the this email from him and went, okay, yeah, we'll take it down. Uh, apparently his S key is stuck. We don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> the only email with stink lines coming out of it. <laughs> There's anthrax in the email. How did he do this? <laughs> All right. So you mentioned his amazing new t-shirt. Oh yeah. He he brags about it here at the beginning of the show. <laughs> oh. Yeah, baby, welcome. To <laughs> All right, I just want to point out how cheap of a shirt this is. You used to work at a print shop, yeah. So you know how cheap this is. The graphics on it were sticking together when he was crouched over. <laughs> the world famous Stuttering John podcast with your favorite world famous host, Stuttering John Melendez. Yes, there is my Doc Brandon shirt. Doc Brandon finally got my two Doc Brandon shirts. Yeah, why? Because the guy's doing more than any other president we've ever had. What is this like a troll where he loves Biden or what? <laughs> no, he really does love Biden. He does he a political loves, challenge. I've never heard of anybody who loves Biden. Right. He, he goes, tolerate he, Biden. He goes, he's done more than any other president ever has. Well, doing more is that a silly yeah. good thing? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Smelled more hair, <laughs> right. molested more children. Like, wow, well, what's, the, what's the angle why he loves Joe Biden? Because he's so caught up. His show is a political show that just talks to other Democrats, and okay. they're so caught up in everything the Democrats say that he's lost the narrative on reality. Yeah. He has no uh, idea what's going on anymore. I know. Isn't uh, it shocking to you? I yeah. don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the 40% of people who approve of like Joe Biden right now, I mean, 30 to 35% of that is that he's not Donald Trump. Right. So, I, yeah. mean, I can't imagine people, I can imagine them being glad he's president. I just can't imagine them being. Like, you could hand a Biden supporter a free shirt, and they'd be like, no, no, thanks. <laughs> well, to your point, whenever somebody says, by the way, you know that he has dementia, and things aren't going well, yeah, but it's not Trump! That's like John's right. argument. Yes. Trump sucks worse! You're like, yeah, but that has nothing to do with Joe Biden not be having any cognitive skills. And speaking of not having cognitive skills... <laughs> I want to congratulate <laughs> the Democrat who defeated Sarah Palin. I, you know, I... I made a note to myself to jot down. I mean, <laughs> oh I no! I wanted to remember her name. Somebody, can you remember her oh. name in the chat? <laughs> I, I made a mental note to make a note, and then I never made. Whoopsie! <laughs> what I'm a busy guy. That's how he starts the show. <laughs> what an idiot! Congra congratulations to. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now John's going to remind everyone that donations go to him. Dan, have you been following? This uh, charity scam that John's been up to, a legend, no. a legend no, charity I have scam. Not. Honestly, I don't. I honestly know him from the Stern Show, and then I just see him getting dunked on here and there by yeah. podcasters. But I don't. I haven't really followed it. No. Listen to this. You're gonna love this. What John was doing a few weeks ago was he was saying, "There's a loved one of one of our regular chatters in the chat room who's going through chemotherapy, and they need funds for that." So donate to my PayPal, and I'll make sure that that person gets the funds. What? <laughs> Can you yeah. believe that? Like, is he such a technological Luddite that he like he, he that's what he actually thinks? So just set up a GoFundMe like just every other person. Set up a GoFundMe. That's what we're all trying to figure out. We're trying to figure out, is he stupid? Is it like, it's funny that we all think so little of John's intellect. Yeah. That scam is like the ninth thing on our list of possibilities. Correct. And I, I was joking about how it was a scam. Because it's funny to say that, but I do think he really is that dumb. Yeah. So this is uh, him explaining. But then also he's doing a stream. So you're like, that's yeah. like just the act of doing a stream, a higher te technological barrier than setting oh, up a no. GoFundMe. Well, no, Danny, everyone has had to show him how to do everything that he does. He had hell sparks over still, to his house. He, yes, he needed help. But then he, the fact is he's still doing it. Yeah. So there's technical problems every episode. There's, there's, but... there's some logical issues here. <laughs> right. All right. So this, right? Is, this is John well, John's explaining. About, John's about to do a video on how that guy, Danny from Boys Cast. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Uh, there's the link if you want to donate to me, paypal.me slash John Melendez Inc. If you want to donate to me, paypal.me slash John Melendez wouldn't want to? Inc. And <laughs> thank you, Benny Loco and Nails by Sherry and a few of you others who who wanted to donate some money to the our our chatter friend who uh, 
whose spouse is going through chemo. I just Venmoed a hundred dollars that <laughs> out of that money. That we, wait a second, you can't raise a hundred dollars. Why not just cure cancer? Yeah. Why, why pay for chemo? You got a hundred bucks. Uh, victory lap. <laughs> I, I can't post the Venmo. Wait, what's that? Cut, cut out the middle, man, and just post that person's Venmo. No shit. Well, I guess it's say, what's his excuse? He says, like, oh, he doesn't, they want their privacy or something, so just give it to me as the middleman, and I'll give it to them. But so if, if he gets a bunch of money, isn't he going to get a 1099 for all the money he took in, and then PayPal takes a fee, and then he's sending the money? So it's like, what? You're going to, like, causing yourself so many problems here. Correct. Just put the yeah. Venmo <laughs> yes, Danny, thank you. You're pointing out all the things. <laughs> they were just right. like, why would you do it this way? This is the dumbest thing you could possibly do. <laughs> so what he then, said... Yeah, add, on top of, add on top of that the public perception yeah. that a lot of people go, this guy's fucking somebody over. So as, uh, as he said on a recent episode, he gets the money in his PayPal. Mm -hmm. He then Venmos that to another person who then writes That's a, a check. check and then Fuck mails off. that yep. check to the person who needs chemotherapy. Swear to God, his words. And there's a new theory going around, and I might subscribe to it, that John's actually getting catfished. Because it could oh. be a thing where this guy who he's sending the Venmo money to made this whole thing up. He's like, oh, here's, here's how it's going to work. You ask for it to your PayPal and then send it to my Venmo. Because honestly, none of this makes any fucking sense at all. Yeah, and John would fall for that. Uh, so I it's guess like, the check thing is like if maybe if they're so old that they go Venmo and they're like, what's Venmo? And Zell, and they're like, what's that? Like all this. Because the check thing... There's still a paper trail, so a catfish, <laughs> a real catfish wouldn't want some paper trail. They would want a money order sent them or something, not a chat. Yeah, so. gift cards. Well, it's funny because he did send cards. them uh, an iPad mini. Oh, it was yeah. one of the first things they needed because, you know, when chemo, you need Angry Birds to get through yeah, chemo Yeah, what country is he sending this to? <laughs> yeah, good points. <laughs> so he's co-pilot in an airplane game is what yeah, this could be. It okay. could be. All right. We got, because uh, even, even though YouTube took 30%, I still kicked in a few shekels. <laughs> He's still proud of himself. He said $100, and he goes, and by the way, I didn't even raise that much. Like, well, what's the brag here? I'm, yeah. I'm confused. Yeah. It seems like he's flexing, but... Yeah, what a waste of fucking everyone's time. He was begging for these donations on every episode for weeks, and then he's like, I just sent her 100 bucks. Like, why did we go through all of this? Here's an yeah. analogy. He, he's at a party, okay? Yeah. And everyone collects beer money, but he's the guy going to the store. But when he gets back, there's only a little bit of beer, but a bunch of chocolate around his face. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of empties. Yeah. <laughs> Jenny, you've gone for three hours. <laughs> a three pack? <laughs> Where do you buy a three pack? <laughs> this is John talking about himself in the third person. Oh, no. Could this guy be any dumber? I mean, seriously. He might be dumber than his supporters at this point. Yeah, I agree, John. Yeah, cut. That's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> <Nailed it. laughs> <Good. laughs> All right. So people have been calling out John. I like that Danny's here because I feel like I'm getting him up to speed on some things that are fun. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> yeah. One of the things that he's trying to get me shut down for is I use the word retard when describing John. Now, I don't use the word retard when describing mentally handicapped people. Of course. That, that would, would be retarded. Taste. <laughs> yes. yeah. yeah, that would be gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not queer enough to do that. <laughs> but John refers to Donald Trump as the dotard. So now yep. people are saying to him, well, John, you're trying to get this guy's life ruined for saying retard. You're calling Donald Trump a, a dotard. Isn't that kind of the same thing? So now John explains. Can't wait. The definition of dotard. <clears throat> you dotard. Some guys like John on Twitter. Dotard. Oh, you know, that's like the all word. I, I go, now, nah, now. Nah. It's an elderly man who's, who's, you know, whose functionality is waning, like Trump. Like you? Holy shit, Stuttering John is a dotard. I yeah. want to start a new hashtag. Stuttering dotard. Hashtag Stuttering dotard. He's he literally just described place. himself. You're and I hate, to be a, I hate to be like an English police, but isn't it dotard? I always thought it was that was an actual word. It yeah, is an actual it is. Word. Yeah. You know, I just looked it up. It is an actual it's word. It's not dotard. It's, it's not dotard. dotard. <laughs> Fucking dotard. Dotard. It's dotard. Yeah, he's that stupid. If you're going to give it to those motherfuckers, how well, come the average person doesn't get any fucking relief? 
You give $10,000 to people who have been fucking raped by the banks for the past 30 years with predatory loans. You give them $10,000 and everybody fucking acts like it's even. It ain't fucking even. I just want to respond to this <laughs> troll here for a second. <laughs> TFG hater. Thanks for the 10 bucks. Great show, John. Can you explain the difference between saying dotard and the R word? Seems hypocritical to say one and sue others saying the other. Okay. Here is a definition of dotard. Uh, an old person like Trump, especially one who has become physically weak or whose mental faculties have declined. Faculties? Like Trump. <laughs> faculties. You know, they're soaring through the air. Millennium <laughs> <Yeah>. faculties. <laughs> I love how he waits for the major's biggest rant Yo. to be like, oh, that was a serious point. Could you that imagine was... being a guest on this guy's show? The way he treats his guests. Watch this example. This poor guy, Richard Ojeda, who you can't even pronounce his name correctly. He has him on every week. And he just doesn't care that he has a guest there. And that's why that motherfucker should go to prison. Now, I hate to get a little gross here, but I will, Richard. <laughs> David Seven, thanks for the five bucks. John, personal question here. Recently, you said your hemorrhoids haven't flared up lately. How do you treat your hemorrhoids? Mine are killing me. Look at Richard. Now, as a man like, who's really experienced doing? hemorrhoidal malfunction for quite a large period of time, I have learned a few things. Whenever you feel the need to go, go. Never go when you don't have to. And don't push. So now I have noticed as long as I just evacuate and don't push, as soon as the main evacuation is done, you wipe a few times and you're done. If you're not watching this with us right now, you're just listening. Richard Ochetta is so turned off by this that's conversation. That's me. Honestly, I'm mean, like, I have the. I just look and I go, oh, "That's the same face I'm making." <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> this guy's going off on all these rants. He's got all these political views. He wants to get out there, and John's explaining that you should only poop when you have to go and don't wipe too much. Yeah, Richard's sitting there, like, making these grandiose political <laughs> observations. John's like, let me tell you how you avoid shitting your pants. <laughs> like, what? What it's insane. Fuck? By the way, did he totally not just admit there that he shit his pants before? Oh, That was an admission where he's like, if you have to, trust me from experience, if you have to go, yeah. go. Get a grown-up. <laughs> <laughs> and then tells you to wipe afterwards. Like, yeah, yeah. Who's on it. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah. He, can't, he has to respond to people who give him super chats. And then right after that, my wife pops on, quote unquote, to uh, have a, a zinger. Thank okay. you. Now, I want, to, I want to step in here and give a another, uh, ex whatever it is, uh, with <laughs> concerning hemorrhoids. Yeah, well, hold and on. Bro. <laughs> Hi, it was great chatting. When you please DM me tonight, my husband has the roids also. <laughs> well, uh, vote them out. Good well, that's what you do. Vote them out. Vote your hemorrhoids out. <laughs> this is a, this is a horrible show. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, this, this is, is a debacle of a fucking show. What the fuck? Terrible show. <laughs> Sorry yeah. about your hemorrhoids, Carl. Man, <laughs> <What the fuck? laughs> oh, Jed is the voice of reason. Uh, John just believes everything he reads. He's so stupid. Uh, oh, remember how people thought that maybe John was driving an Uber? Yeah. For a little while, yeah. and he denied it. Uh -huh. Well, now he's telling the truth finally. Oh, good. And admitting that. Uh. Oh, so, Danny, check this out. Oh, I this see is, that. Yeah, I saw yeah. that. His banner go, this is copyrighted. Beer on the balcony. He puts on this thing that says, this is copyrighted, which so he thinks I can't clip it and play it, because he, he put, this is copyrighted on us. Well, yeah, yeah. well, all you do is you just clip it, and then you just cut out that banner on I the bottom. I leave it in. No problem solved. No, no. <laughs> That's true. I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> just a really pissing off. He goes, where the fuck's my banner? <laughs> yeah. or, or I just put in not. This video is not with, yeah. with a little carrot. <laughs> I didn't write that. Uh, uh, this guy that's why i'm an uber driver really i'm an uber driver okay <laughs> i once tried it for a week or two or maybe even a uh. month <laughs> 
the way he confesses to things is yeah. so fucking funny. And all it takes is for him to get backed into a corner. Yep. That's all it takes. Yeah. Okay, maybe I dabbled in Uber driving, yeah. but just like the teaching <laughs> thing. Yep. Hated it. I did it. Like, he hated it because you can't be drunk <laughs> while you're an Uber driver. That's, that's why he hated they it. They frown upon that. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Tried it for a week or two. Uh, hey, I'm, your, I'm your driver. Just kick the cans next to you there. <laughs> Make some room for yourself. Maybe even a month. Hated it. I did it like, I don't know. Right around the time I was around doing the Stephanie Miller show. I do a whole bit on it on stage. No, you do one joke on it. I do a whole bit on it. No, you don't. No, you just say, wow, things are bad. Yesterday what the I was fuck in Uber. Stand up. And I was driving. What, what's that, Danny? Where the hell is he doing stand up? Um, nowhere. He's done one gig this whole year in Florida to 12 people. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. That's a good answer. <laughs> it's dried up that bad for Here's him. The thing, 99% yeah. of my stand up is terrible. It's just <laughs> true life stories. That's how stand up is supposed to work, Chad. You're supposed to write yeah, jokes. Yeah. But I do believe the squeegee is uh, from yeah. his life. Oh, I'm sure it is. <laughs> I'm sure all of these terrible jokes. I love that he goes, What are you guys, idiots? I was hiding in plain sight the whole time. I told you I'm an Uber driver. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Because I find it funny. Only you do. And it, to me, it's funny. <laughs> Only to you. And I do it. And it, like they have some big reveal. It's so silly. You know, when you're paying alimony and child support, that's a lot, a lot of money. You know, you try and make as much as you can to take the freaking, so you don't dig into your savings. Scam. Well, that's the thing, John, is that nobody blames you for driving an Uber. It's the fact that you were denying it for so long. Same with the substitute teacher thing. You're like, well, can you blame me? I need money. Like, no, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with working there, jobs. It's okay. You're not in show a, business anymore. It's yeah. fine. There's there's always a part of me with John where it just and looking at him with a Coors light, guzzling a Coors light and talking about driving Uber so he doesn't have to dip into his savings and child support and all that. There is always that part with stuttering John where I go, I'm actually starting to feel bad for this. Stop guy. it right now. I know, I know, I get it. You're he's, right. I'm wrong. He's still, actually trying to ruin my life. Stop it. I, I know. I just get this weird thing where I'm like, this sad sack of shit. It really I, is. It's just like, you're right. No, but him going after you is dog shit. That is the part that kind of snaps you out of it and go, oh, he deserves it. It's fine. Dude, I was I was watching months ago, I was watching Anthony's show, and he had Dr. Steve on there, and I forget somebody else. And they started going down this this whole uh, train of thought, like, ah, eh, you know, poor John. And I had to call into the show and go, no, guys, <laughs> fuck this guy. You got to remember. <laughs> He's a piece of shit. Dig into your savings. Scoot! Especially when you're in between jobs. What is he now? It was right either, either before Stephanie Miller or after. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for coming clean, finally, John. All right. All right. I got a few more clips to get through here, guys. If you if you can bear with me, this is going to get fun again. Uh, yeah, Stuttering John, this is, this is an eye-opener. I, I haven't watched a lot of Stuttering John stuff. Do you know oh, what Hell Sparks is, Danny? Of course I know Hell Sparks is okay. the queerest folk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Hell Sparks has been a regular on John's show for a couple of years now because he also has a political show. and It's all mm. you know, Democrat-leaning things. And so Hale hasn't been on the show in a little while, and somebody asks John about that. Uh, Hal's never on anymore. Is everything okay between both two of you? I never hear the major mention him at all either. I don't have any problem with Hal. I just know he's busy. Uh, Diane Olson from Arlington, Texas. Hal's been very good to me. Lacey Carter. You know, it's funny. When, when he says Hale's been busy, I wouldn't be surprised if Hale actually is shampooing his hair. He's got a lot of hair to shampoo, so maybe that excuse was real. So I've I've been told that there's been a falling out. Muttering Jay has uh, obviously reported on this news that Hale Sparks has been maybe tagged in one too many tweets of videos of John using the N-word all over the place. And I was like, I, uh -huh. I can't be part of this. There is something in that response of, I don't have a problem with Hal, right. which makes you think there's a story there. Yes, there's a yeah. story yeah. there. Well, the, yeah, that wording for sure is it goes, yeah, I am fine with Hal. Right. Yeah. Like if someone asks you why someone hasn't been on your show and it's there's no problem, you just go, oh, we'll just we'll book them in the future here sometime. You just haven't been on for a while. 
Sure. Like I, he was, I don't have a problem with Hal. Uh, yeah, people are catching on with this. All right, let's talk about John's selflessness. Mm-hmm. Because he doesn't like to tune his own horn, but every now and again, he'll remind you what a great guy he is. Robert Reynolds from Seattle. Uh, back in Seattle from vacationing on Maui. Love Maui. Haven't been to, well, yeah, I guess I have been to Seattle to visit the troops in a hospital. Oh, yeah, that unkind, selfish, stuttering John. What's he doing visiting oh. troops in the hospital in Seattle? Oh, he's such a piece of shit. Dude, if you were in the hospital, would you want this guy visiting you? Yeah. That would suck. I mean, I certainly wouldn't want him flexing about it on his <laughs> show. Like, yeah, that's right. I went and visited the troops. I'm the real hero. <laughs> what an <laughs> asshole. What the fuck? I wonder what that oh. visit was like, though, you know. Can, can you guys uh, point me to the, the bar? Hey, Where, where's the bar? Here? He probably did his act. He probably goes in there and goes, ah, guess what? I took an Uber here. <laughs> Counts as a gig. <laughs> yeah, he counted it as a gig. That's two gigs thus far, Carl. Yeah. I had them rolling. Actually, no, the nurse rolled them over, but they were rolling nonetheless. Captive audience. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He walked the, the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> All right. So now John's going to talk about how he was never kicked out of a bar. And the, when John lies, he does it so impressively. I, I don't even know how you would pretend to lie like this when he just talked about it a couple of weeks ago, getting kicked out of the bar. Cranberoni. Thanks. This, you, you, you can get this shirt on Amazon. I can't wait to wear it at the pub today. <laughs> Oh, it's some idiots claiming I got kicked out of a bar. I've never been 86 by a bar in my ever in my life. They make up shit. Is he trying to gaslight us? I, He's the one who told the story. Yeah, I, that's yeah, all I, I can think know. of is like I, that's crazy. This is it's not even ancient history. No, this is it's a couple very weeks ago. recent. Yeah, he, Pat Oates was on the show. He went into great. great fucking detail about it. The bartender literally said, fuck you, three times in a row to him and said, you don't need to be here. He got kicked out of a bar. That's getting kicked out of a bar. Yeah. And wasn't it, ironically, he showed his Biden shirt at the beginning of that. Wasn't it because, I, I remember watching your clip, but I can't remember why. Wasn't he, like, being political or yes. getting yeah, loud yeah, yeah. about politics and shit? Yeah, the bartender was like, no politics in here, John. Stop it. The, the whole thing about Biden having dementia and him going, no, Trump is worse. Yep. That's where that came from. That's why he got kicked out of the bar. Yeah. God, of all the things to get kicked out of a bar for, what a boring reason. <laughs> Jesus, yes, John. I know. So there's just so many lies about him, and you know they're lies because he's a perfect guy. Oh, I, I forget what I was saying now. Well, are they trying to make up, like, you know, they just are running out of lies to tell about me. You know, I need I need supervised, <laughs> supervised visitation. I don't pay child support. All lies. You know, I get kicked out of a bar. All lies. All lies. That's all they could do was kids lie. under eighteen. One, one of his kids is, is still a minor. Well. The other two are adults. Because I'm just too damn good of a guy. <laughs> I mean, how does he I say that? Truth. So we know he was kicked out of a bar, mm. and I never accused John of not paying child support or not being able to visit his children. But now I'm starting to think that those things are also true. Right. That's what I was thinking, too, when he said that doesn't pay child support. I'm like, nobody's ever said that. And then he lumps it in with something that's we know is true. Right. Yeah. Like, oh, is this like some kind of weird confessional thing that he's doing? I Like he like one of those killers who wants to get caught. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, I think that's what it is. And then he tells a story about he had to take his kid to the DMV for um, a driver's test or something. And then he had an issue with his car insurance. But then I called my insurance company. He goes, John, I've been trying to get the whole deal. Your, your, your insurance <laughs> what is, is What accent is he? Yeah. <laughs> what what hey, is this guy? This sounds is... Jewish, but I can't tell. <laughs> he meant like Asian, Middle Eastern. Maybe Asian. <laughs> yeah. All, all I know all... is that 20% of the people who are watching this are offended. That's all I know. <laughs> yes. Trying to get the whole deal. Your, 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 your insurance is... Uh, Canceled. You didn't pay. I go, what? He goes, I've been trying to call you. I go, oh, shit, I changed my number. I forgot. Uh, so I have to tell you guys this. 
I don't need my insurance company to call me to tell me to pay my car insurance. I've never had them call me once. Yeah. I just pay my car insurance. John's acting like, well, it's because I changed my number is why I haven't been paying my car insurance. It's neither here nor there. But that's yeah, the I mean, story, usually, that story I believe, though. I bet he's not paying his car insurance. Yeah. Yeah, usually the only reason your car insurance lapses is you, like, change an account number or something like right. that. And then you, you didn't put it in the auto pay thing or whatever. But. No, he literally needs his agent to call him to remind him to pay his bill. And, uh, John, remember, <laughs> put out clothes for tomorrow morning <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Uh, feed yourself. <laughs> I'm going to Venmo it to my friend who's going to write a check. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So did I mention a spouse has cancer? <laughs> John brings on this guest, Allison Gill. And I guess Allison is involved in that network that John was bragging about months and months ago that he was going to be on. There's some left leaning uh, political network that John's like, they picked up my show. I'm all excited about it. Nothing's happened since then. So this is the, the, something that you would say off air. This is something that you wouldn't talk about on your show. This is the first thing he brings up when he brings on this guest. Yeah, I, I, I have some. I, I'm in the middle of some legal things on my own, so I know how that is. But um, legal things on your own, you, you DMCA strike to be on YouTube. <laughs> Don't act like <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of legal things going on. Okay, um, Allison, it's very weird. I wanted to ask you. Because I've been dealing with a, a Kanai. I thought I was going to be part of your channel. And then I, I signed everything, but nothing ever happened. I don't know. Huh? I don't know. I'll have to I'll have to ask Kanai about that. I'm not sure why. Well, I was I watching these guys the, uh, who are these podcasts and uh, they made some good points about you. And, uh, <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. yeah, we just did a little bit of research. One yeah. Google search was all it took. And then we're like, I don't want this guy part of our fucking channel. I'll have to ask Kanai about that. I'm not sure why. I signed the um, contract in it, but then I never heard. So I don't know Stop what's going it up. on. And she then every know. once in a while, he'll, he'll email me, "Would you do an ad for this sponsor?" And I'm like, "Yeah," but I don't know. I don't know. I definitely text him. But anyway, let's celebrate, Allison. Sarah Palin lost. <sighs> this, this is like a guy who like is asking a girl why she didn't call him yes. back. Yep. Yeah. Oh. And if he does it in public, he might have a better chance. Right. Right. Yeah, you better answer the question. You're on my show now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That's so embarrassing. How come uh, I'm not on your guys' uh, network? You know, I did. I filled out all the paperwork. Mm. Oh, yeah. Time's up, John. Got to go. Sorry. <laughs> you know what? My phone was on like 2%. It might have went dead. I <laughs> might have yeah. called. I missed it. All right. So this is the last clip I'm going to play. This is uh, John gets trolls who give him five bucks, and then he has to read the super chat because he's obligated to. Which I always find fun. Yeah. Toast, thanks for the five bucks. Getting back to school is really paying off for you. Looking healthier and less bloated than usual. I'll take that as a compliment. Your skin is glowing. Keep up the healthy changes. You do yeah. look good. You do look good, my friend. <laughs> oh, thank you, Allison. I don't know if you know, but on the side, I'm a substitute teacher here in California. Because, you know, they need them. And, and, and two of my friends what? who are teachers were like, John. Yeah, listen to this, Daddy. He's giving back to the community. It's not because what? he needs... He's actually a substitute teacher? <laughs> yeah. Yes. And by the way, he denied it for months. Yeah. And then he finally, because he sent me a cease and desist that said that I was harassing his school or some convoluted thing, because of that, which, by the way, I had nothing to do with, um, he had to go out and admit because he knew that I would go out and tell people about this. What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, I'm I having that. so much fun explaining all this to Danny. Yeah, yeah that's great. <laughs> it's like a into the stuttering John rabbit hole. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so much going on. There is yeah. a point where if you get out, you can get out. But like, one, <laughs> yeah, you're a in now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I see a new Carl stuttering John video, and I'm like, okay, let's go. <laughs> well, you're in it now. <laughs> yeah, now I'm, I'm deep. Yeah. They need them, and 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 two of my friends who were teachers were like, John. Become a sub, because this is during COVID when all my stand-up was getting canceled. He's like, like, become a sub. We need subs. So, hey, I'll give back. And it's fun. I love the kids. And, you know, and they love me because I make algebra entertaining. <laughs> no, I make you entertaining. You don't make anything entertaining. There's kids whose algebra teacher is stuttering John. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> the you real really track- short stick. The real tragedy of this is that John misunderstood. The guy just offered him a sub. But <laughs> he, was, he was going to school. Do you want a sub? Yeah, I mean, I could probably take the test and pass it. No, I'm just I'm not going to eat the sandwich. Yes. No, I meant like a hero sandwich, John. I was like, maybe. I'm a hero. <laughs> <laughs> 
They try to pay me. I just rip the checks up. <laughs> and tape them back together when I get home. <laughs> yeah. Holy Let's shit. Well, we've done it all today, boys, and uh, you guys have hung what out. What a ride. You guys have hung out a long time, so <laughs> I want to thank you so much. Ride. Danny Paulus, Chuck, thank you so much for coming on, buddy. People thank should, you for uh, having me. That was, uh, that was fun. That was people fun should stuff. check out Low Value Mail. And you know what? I didn't even pick up on what that meant because you spell it like M-A-I-L. Yeah, but it's a play on the low value mail from the female dating strategy. No, but that it. has nothing. That show is just a call in show every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. on YouTube. And then I just do here and there the female dating strategy streams, low value streaming of the female dating strategy podcast. Uh, I'm doing about four to six episodes a week just so I can catch <laughs> up. Holy shit, that's Jeez. awesome. It's a nightmare. <laughs> it's a living nightmare. Check it out. It's funny, so, Danny, I've done the same thing to myself. Like, we used to do a show once a week, and I'm like, let's do two a week, you know? And then, yeah. so now we do two shows a week. And I didn't realize how much stuttering John I'd have to subject myself oh, yeah. to. Oh, and my I'm like, God. Well, why it's... am I doing this to myself? <laughs> well, that's the thing is, like, that's now becoming your real life, though. <laughs> right. Like, that's like, that's, you were like, hey, we're going to watch this thing. And now you're like, yeah, I'm like, I'm getting sued. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, like this is my fucking life. <laughs> this is my actual life now. It's become it's like last action hero. It's all like <laughs> melting together. It really is. It really is. And uh, you're also on uh, the Boys Cast. The with, Boys uh, Cast, of course, Ryan Long every Ryan. Friday. Uh, you can check that out at youtubecom slash the Boys Cast and my channel youtubecom slash my name Danny Paulschuk. Awesome, Danny. It was great yeah. to talk yeah, to you. Buddy. That, was, that was good shit. Don't be a stranger. I hope to have you back sometime. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hit me up. All right, cool. All right, take care, guys. See you later. Okay, and. Aaron Imholt, so I was on uh, Aaron's show. He does an interview show on Tuesdays. He brought me on. That was a lot of fun. And because we seem to have very similar interests, it uh, made sense to have him on Who Are These Podcasts, and I'm glad we did. Yeah. Thanks for doing the homework, listening to shitty shows, pulling clips. <laughs> I think I might actually be in on this one, though. I think I might actually check this one out a couple of times. It's, like Danny said, it's a ride. It's a ride. And these women say things... They're outrageous. And if you go into with the premise like I did, that they're just like trying to get attention, it's yeah. not as fun. But if you believe like Danny believes, like Aaron believes, this is what these women actually think, then it's interesting. There's something about their shamelessness that's endearing. Endearing's that's, an interesting word. I wouldn't have picked yeah. that one. <laughs> it's just like you're like, you know what? Or like you'll begrudgingly give them the respect. Yeah. Of, right. Like, wow, they're going for it. it right. Allowed. They're stopping short of everything but, like, Andrew Tate's machete bit. <laughs> like, right. They told you how to disarm a man with a machete. Yet. I'm waiting <laughs> for that episode. So you could check out Aaron Monday through Friday on the Steel Toe Morning Show. That's a YouTube show, right? Yes. Yes, sir. Monday through Friday. And then uh, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. And then uh, my wife and I do a little evening show at the end of the night, <laughs> 7 to 9 p.m. Central, uh, Monday through Wednesday. God, you're doing and too much. I told you that when I, I was on your show. I'm like, you're spreading yourself too thin, my friend. We've got, uh, we'll probably, it'll eventually, it'll just be the morning show. Okay. I think uh, eventually we're just going to do only the morning show. And uh, I, I started doing the Tuesday interview thing and that, that you were on because I was like, God, there's a lot of people out there that I enjoy and that I'm a fan of. And I just, I just like to sit down for a half hour and, you know, talk to them and whatnot. And uh, Tuesday, I think uh, Pat Dixon is next. Oh, I love Pat. Uh, yeah. It's, That's great. Uh, and, and he's obviously you know, been moving around a lot, if you will. Yeah, I know. So well, it'll be interesting to talk to him. Tell him I said hi. He's coming to Rochester to do the roast of Carl and Vinny, which is coming up in a couple of weeks now, yeah. September oh, 17th. Fun. And then uh, he's going to do a show over here. We're going to do a crossover show. Mm. Who are these podcasts in uh, New York City Crime Report? I don't know what that's going to look like, but we'll figure it out. Yeah. He's, he's always fun. So cool. Well, people, check out uh, Aaron and the Steel Toe Morning Show. Yes. And uh, Aaron, thanks for coming on, buddy. Thank you. And Chris, nice to meet you as well, sir. Yeah, of course. All right. Thanks, Carl. Yes. Thank you. All right. Now let's get to the thing that I, I really wanted to do today. And that is bring on our potentially new review girl, Hannah, who's auditioning to be a review girl today. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Carl. So far, so hey, good. Hey, producer Chris. Hi, yeah, Hannah. Yeah, so far, so good. And then we also have Vic. No shit. Coming. Oh, hey. Vic with the no. full on. <laughs> Cow uniform today. You look like a cow. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Fantastic. Wow. This is exciting. So, uh, Vic, meet Hannah. Hannah, meet Vic. Hey, Hello. Vic. You do have good <laughs> boobs. Fantastic. Thank you. She does. You're not a boob. 
great boobs. Thank you. I told Carl <laughs> to tell you the same thing, but I don't know if he relayed the message. He didn't. He okay. said you hated me and that uh, <laughs> you called me true. a cunt. <laughs> We're off to a good start. <laughs> <laughs> so I did not. Vic goes both ways. How about you, Hannah? Is it, would you have a possible uh, love connection here? Maybe. All right. That's all time I wanted, will tell. That's all I wanted to hear. All right. It is time for everyone's favorite game show. You ready to take score over here? This is um, To Catch a Dabbler Cancer Edition. <laughs> it's time for everyone's favorite game show. To Catch a Dabbler. Are you ready to play To Catch a Dabbler? Sorry about that. <laughs> well, hey, by the way, I, I want to thank you for having me on. This is my first time on camera in almost a year um, since my whole little cancer thing. So, and, uh, yeah, I know. Being patient. I, I know you've been asked to ask me to be on over the course of the months, and I just wasn't comfortable, um, you know, because you don't look so great or feel so great after going through intense chemo and radiation. But some of the hair is growing back, and uh, it's a new year. So, uh, here I am. You still look as beautiful as ever. If I have, if I do say myself, if uh, I do say stuff myself, Sherry. Oh, and before we get started, because I do want to ask you all about this. Before we even um, uh, say anything, I do want to. What did John <laughs> say next? Here are your choices. Number one, just ask you: Are you a betting woman? Next, <laughs> did you get the money I raised for your chemo? <laughs> Number three, thanks for the two bucks, Benny Loco. <laughs> D, I want to wish my youngest son a happy birthday. Lastly, just ask, if you're ever in LA, I would love to take you out for a drink to catch a dabbler. This is a tough one. I know. I am going to go with number C. That is the thanks for the two bucks, Benny Loco. <laughs> that just seems like something that John would do. Oh, no, you're low battery over there. Oh, I didn't plug that in. All right, give me a second. <laughs> I got it. All right. Vic, what do you got? Uh, I'm going to go with the first one. Are you a betting woman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hannah, you got a guess? I'm between C and D, but I think I'm going to go with D. All right, the sun birthday, very good. Yes. I'm going the full board, all five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you did them all in one sentence. That's funny. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. All right, so I'm sorry. I was away for a second. Who or, do we got? What are the answers? Hannah's going with uh, the sun's birthday shout out. Okay. And Vic is going with, are you a betting woman? Oh, betting woman. Okay, cool. You know, because you don't look so great or feel so great after going through intense chemo and radiation, but some of the hair is growing back, and uh, it's a new year, so uh, here I am. You still look as beautiful as ever if I have, if I do say myself, if I do say so <laughs> myself, Sherry. Oh, and before Feel we good. get started, because I do want to ask you all about this, before we even um, uh, say anything, I do want to wish my youngest son a happy birthday. That's all for this Damn week. Damn it. Come back next week to find out if you are man enough to catch a dabbler. Hannah's off to a great start. <laughs> Wait, I thought Vic had that one. No, no that I was asked Hannah? for the betting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah, you just won the job. Holy <laughs> shit. You're officially the new review girl of who on this right. podcast. Wow. <laughs> Very impressive. That was a tough one right there. It could have gotten... Any which direction. Who are these podcasts? W A T E.